Hello and welcome Aries. I am Pisces Intuition. Alright, so Aries, this is your 2020 tarot reading. And I wanted to change things up a little bit with the 2020 spreads. I'm not going to be doing it month by month. I am going to be doing a different kind of spread for you, kind of giving you a 2020 overlook. And I will be using tarot cards as well as oracle cards. So let's go ahead and get into it. So Aries, you are up first. And we're going to look at um, where you are now. All right, so Aries, it's kind of looking like you are in, um, sorry about that, um, you're kind of like in the hangman um, stage right now, just kind of kind of chilling, maybe taking some time out, you know, definitely kind of reassessing a certain situation, you know, just trying to gain some different insight. So I'm going to take a clarifier for this. So where is Aries now? Why do we have the hanged man? All right. We have the three of cups, or the three of wands, I'm sorry. So, you know, we're in the three of wands energy with the hanged man. So you're waiting for something, Aries. You're waiting for something to happen. So, all right. So now let's go ahead and take a chakra oracle. And this one, I'm going to do it a little differently. I've shuffled this, so now I'm going to kind of fan it out. Let's see. Ugh. All right, Aries. All right, so Aries, we have card number 39 talking about dreams. And this is also having to deal with your, um, your third eye chakra. So, you know, Aries, you could be getting some kind of messages, you know, you could be seeing signs, you could be seeing symbols, you know, this is um, your spirit guide, this is a divine kind of offering you, you know, some kind of guidance. So definitely, you know, be paying attention, like I said, you could be getting some kind of downloads in your dreams, um, you know, something could be going on, like we're seeing any kind of signs, you know, numbers, um, you know, synchronicities, things like that. So, you know, Aries, um, with dreams here, the hanged one and waiting for something to happen with the three of wands, you know, where you are right now, like I said, it's just, it's definitely waiting for something to come in. You know, this is something that you could have been um, waiting on for a while. This could be a dream that you're kind of realizing, you know, that you want to kind of manifest. But like I said, this is something that you've been waiting on. All right, so I'm going to take a moon oracle. Okay. And we have new moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. All right. All right. So that is where you are now. It is like I said, just kind of waiting for something to happen. You know, waiting, um, like I said, getting some kind of guidance. It's like you're really kind of connecting with spirit, like I said, because they're, you know, sending you some kind of signs, you know, some kind of symbols. <clears throat> but, you know, you're just kind of, like I said, trying to... Um, you know, you're just waiting for something to happen here, but, you know, definitely don't be afraid, you know, work through those fears, you know, stay positive, stay optimistic about your dreams, stay optimistic about what it is that you're waiting on and know that, you know, it can bring a positive change. All right. So now let's look at your romance, ah, your romance right now. All right. So Aries, if you are in a relationship, um, give your relationship a chance. And this is where you are, like I said, right now. So, you know, give that relationship a chance. Like I said, really try to stay optimistic within the situation that you're in right now. If this makes sense. I um, mean, you know, if this is resonating with you, like I said, stay optimistic. Give that relationship a chance. You know, you are receiving some kind of signs, some kind of downloads. You know, you're just, you're in that energy of where you're just kind of waiting. You're kind of hanging around. You know, don't get stuck in that energy. Stay optimistic. Also stay uh, motivated. You know, keep moving and know that, you know, what you're waiting for will be coming in. You know, just don't be fearful of change. You know, just accept it. All right. So now let's go ahead. And let's move on to the next one. All right. All right. So that is where you are now. So now for 2020, let's look at something positive 
for Aries in 2020? What is going to be something positive for Aries in 2020? All right. So Aries, something positive for you in 2020 is the will of fortune. So, you know, luck is going to be on your side, you know, divine timing kind of stepping in. All right, let's clarify this, please. Okay, we had two clarifiers, if I could get that out here. All right. We have the moon card, and then we have the Ace of Swords. All right, so Aries, um, you know, it looks like where there was some kind of confusion, you know, maybe uh, some kind of illusion, some kind of, you know, again, the moon kind of has to deal with, well, it does have to deal with dreams. So, you know, going back to the first set of where you are now, you know, this could be your dreams kind of coming into light. This is you finding a way to make those dreams happen with luck on your side here with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, you know, this could also be, like I said, where there was some kind of confusion, some kind of... Um, what is that word I'm looking for? You know, just, um, yeah, just overall, like, confusion, not knowing which, you know, um, what decision to make, you know, what overall, you know, thing you need to concentrate on. You know, now there's going to be mental clarity. Now there's going to be that aha moment with the Ace of Swords being present here. So, again, um, you know, something positive in 2020, it is really looking good. All right, so now we're going to take a chakra card to see. Oh, okay. All right. So Aries, we have, let me see if you can see that. This is card number 26. It's connection. And this talks about universal oneness, love, interconnection, and support. So, you know, again, somebody can be helping you make your dreams manifest, you know, um, you know, kind of backing you, being a partner, you know, working alongside you or something. But, you know, this is you definitely making things happen. So, you know, going into 2020, like I said, something positive for 2020 is, you know, realization of dreams and making them happen, taking action. Like I said, that mental clarity and definitely connecting with people, you know, being, um, being supportive as well as receiving support, you know, receiving that love. So this looks like a really good time you know, of year, well, a really good year, I should say, for, um, you know, for relationships, for business, you know, just for overall dreams and, you know, success. All right, so let me get a Moonology card, please. Moonology for Aries for 2020. All right. Yeah, exactly what I'm saying, Aries. We have, you are very close to achieving your goal. So again, you know, this, like I said, your dreams coming true, things manifesting. So yeah, Aries, definitely. All right, now let's go ahead and take a romance angel and see something positive with our love life in 2020, Aries. All right. So something positive in 2020 as far as like, um, you know, love and family, everything, you know, kind of goes, um, you know, relationship wise, we have healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this could be something deep rooted, you know, from your childhood that you are finally kind of um, working through in 2020 or something you're just letting go, something you're healing from, you know, really kind of forming, you know, these connections again here with this connection card, you know, working through those issues, healing them. Like I said, you know, getting those connections back or forming healthier connections. You know, again, a lot of your goals are going to be achieved. You know, so this is really positive. This is really great. So Aries, that is awesome. So now let's go ahead and let's take a look at another one. All right, so you guys know it's something positive. You know, I have to do something negative because, you know, that is balance. You know, that's just nature. That's human. That's, that's what the world is what the world is and yeah so to bring that out now we're going to look at what will be negative in 2020 what will you have to work through for 2020 all right 
All right, so we could have a little bit of issues moving forward in 2020, you know, getting the things off the ground, <clears throat> you know, as far as moving forward victoriously. You know, we have the chariot here. You know, the chariot is an amazing card, like I said, for swiftly moving forward victoriously, for bringing that balance, you know, for, um, like I said, just really kind of getting out of that stuck energy. You know, and it was showing where you are now, a little bit of stuck energy. So it looks like it's going to take you a while to kind of get up and moving. Um, and I don't mean just physically. I do mean, you know, in all areas of your life to get the ball rolling is what I'm trying to say for 2020. So, you know, don't give up hope, definitely. Because like I said, you guys have an amazing year ahead of you. But um, definitely with the, with the chariot here being something negative, you know, it's not moving forward. It's, um, <laughs> we have some cards fly out here. That is too many. But, um, but yeah, this is, like I said, I think it's just more stagnation. So I'm getting a card to kind of clarify the negative of 2020. And why is the chariot here? Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, we have a little bit of trouble. We have a little bit of stagnation, you know, a little bit of a delay trying to get that new beginning to try to move forward. So, you know, that looks to be, that's going to be the negative aspect as far as your 2020 goes is just moving forward to that new beginning. It's going to take some time. There could be some delays. So, you know, like I said, things aren't going to happen right away. And especially if this is your dream, this is something you're trying to get off the ground. Um, you know, maybe a new business, um, new relationship, new buying a house, you know, buying, you know, some kind of major purchase or, you know, like I said, even starting a business, something like that, you know, that takes time. That's not going to happen overnight, you know, no matter how much, you know, we manifest, no matter how much, you know, um, time and effort, it still is going to take some time. You know, there's so many things you have to go through so many processes. All right. So now let me get a shocker card for what you will need to work on for 2020. The negative, I guess, if you want to call it that. Okay. So, yeah. So, again, you know, this is really making sense to me, Aries. Um, you know, what you're going to have to... And these lights will not stay. I apologize. All right. So, what you're going to really be having to work on, um, you know, the kind of negative aspect that could kind of be delaying things or kind of just holding you back. Um, not really holding you back, well, although it could if you delay too long. But that delay, that thing that's, you know, just kind of really keeping you still kind of in a, um, that hangman position, that stagnant energy is your mind. You know, make sure you are, um, being open-minded, make sure you're being flexible, you know, make sure you are learning those lessons that you are needing to learn, closing out those cycles, you know, getting rid of that karma. So yeah, just don't get stuck in your mind. Don't overthink. Yeah. And moonology, um, See if you can see that. Look at the bigger picture. That is full moon in Sagittarius. But, you know, definitely, like I said, don't get so sidetracked to where you're just focused on the small things. Remember your goals. Remember you will get there. Just remember it's going to take some time. So, all right. So now let's go to something in your relationships that you will have to work on in 2020. Okay. All right. So we have retreat. So in 2020, um, you know, as far as relationships go, you may have to kind of take some time out. This could be taking time out with your partner, maybe getting away, you know, retreating with each other, disconnecting from the world, disconnecting from business, kind of getting out of your own stagnation, getting out of your own mind, um, you know, really kind of focusing on each other, on your partner or Aries. If you're not with anybody, if you're single at the moment, you, you know, plan on being single for a little while, then this retreat card is definitely saying you need to take some time out, you know, kind of go into hermit mode, focus here. Don't get sucked into that negative headspace. Don't get stuck into, um, in your mind, you know, don't become that eight of swords where you're stuck in your head. Okay. Make sure, you know, you just kind of take some time out, make sure you're taking care of yourself. And so, yeah, so that is the something kind of negative within 2020 that you guys need to make sure you're kind of looking out for, make sure you need to, um, you know, work on that. All right. So now let's go to the goal. All right. So what goal will you strive for in 2020? All right. What goal? Will you strive for in 2020? Okay, 
Okay, what is your goal to strive for in 2020, Aries? Okay, so this is interesting. So we have three of swords, which, you know, we all know the three of swords. That means heartbreak. You know, that means, um, you know, some kind of loss. So let me go ahead and clarify this because this wanted to pop out twice. So why would this be your goal to strive for in 2020? All right. So I'm going to take one more. Aries. All right. Okay, so your goal to strive for in 2020, Aries, is really kind of getting out of those relationships that are holding you back, those relationships that you know are kind of toxic, those relationships that you know are going to be painful, um, those relationships that you know aren't really aren't really the best for you is what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, it's those relationships where there's not equal give and take. It's those relationships, like I said, that could be, um, third party. It could be kind of toxic. It could just be painful. It could be hurtful. It could be, um, you know, even some kind of mind games, you know, something like that. It could be someone wanting to offer, you know, their feelings, like kind of telling you things that you want to hear, but then kind of taking them back. Um, I'm getting kind of a few different things, like I said, so I'm just trying to explain it all, you know, take what resonates, please. But, you know, definitely, like I said, these are going to be your goals to strive for. Strive for more meaningful relationships. All right. And we have a lot of shocker cards dealing with your, um, with your third eye. So yeah, so this is talking about you kind of living in the moment. So that goal that you want to try to strive for, that you want to attain in 2020, you know, make sure you're aware, make sure you're focusing on reality, make sure you're making those meaningful connections, you know, those relationships that are going to be long lasting, those relationships where you're not settling, you don't feel like you're settling, but know your worth Aries and know that, you know, you are, you deserve love. And you are, um, you know, you're not going to, like I said, you are going to make more meaningful connections this year. You're not going to settle for, you know, that guy or that girl who doesn't call you back the next morning or the one who, you know, just kind of plays mind games with you. You know, you're done with that. You're leaving that behind you in 2020. Like I said, you are more focused on making more meaningful relationships with people. You know, you are focused on living in the now in the present. And, you know, definitely you're going to have, you're going to sense the vibes more with people. And, you know, if you're vibing, that's great. You're going to give them a chance. But if you kind of know something's off about them, Aries, I look for you to just be like, no, this ain't happening. You know, it's, yeah, you know, I know this, where this is going to lead. So I'm not even going to go down this road. All right. So we had two cards come out for um, the Moonology deck. We have, you are very close to achieving your goal. So Aries, that's always something very optimistic, something very um, wonderful to hear. And then we also have New Moon and Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. So yes, you know, Aries, like I said, this is you realizing your worth, realizing that you are not going to settle this year, realizing that 2020 is going to be completely different from 2019. You're not going to settle. You're going to strive for more meaningful connections. You're going to kind of release those guards. You know, you're going to kind of drop down those walls and... <clears throat> excuse me, voice crack. <laughs> and, um, you know, you're going to, like I said, you're going to put your heart out there, but you're going to put your heart out there only to someone who deserves it. So, all right. So now let's go ahead and take a relationship. See what goal. Okay. We have this one. Yeah. All right. And so we have attraction here. So Aries, you know, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. 
So, you know, definitely, like I said, this is kind of going back to um, card number 44 for me, you know, presence. And, you know, remember 44, you know, numerology. Yeah, this is a card about... Um, you know, like you're on the, you're on the right path. You know, this is like, um, spirit just saying, yes, you know, you are on the right path. You're doing what you need to do. You know, with the traction here, like I said, <clears throat> there's going to be those people that, you know, you attract when you start realizing your self-worth, you know, that divine feminine or that divine uh, masculine, you know, wakes up within you, you know, you know, and you're not going to be the chaser. You're not, you know, going to be, um, like I said, that person who's just going to settle, you know, you're going to attract in people who are more on your vibe wave, you know, you're the ones you're vibing with more and, um, instead of the low vibrational ones. And that's not to say you're not going to have a couple, you know, the low vibrational people kind of hit on you or want to approach you, but you know, it's like, like I said, you are just like, nah, I'm not settling. I know what I'm worth. I know what I want. You know, 2020 is going to be a year of completely different relationships for you. All right. So beautiful. All righty. <clears throat> okay, so now let's get into the lesson of 2020. So what will be your lesson of 2020, Aries? Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um, temperance card, you know, and temperance, that's not just about bringing balance, but that's bringing a healing balance. You know, that is really getting right with yourself, really getting right with nature, really getting right just with, you know, just in general, you know, with spirit, with yourself, um, you know, like I said, it's bringing that emotional balance. It's bringing that healing balance. So, you know, 2020, this is going to be a big year, like I said, you know, and this is going to be your lesson. You know, like I said, those forming of new connections, of those new relationships, knowing that you're not going to settle, you know, this is your lesson overall for 2020 is definitely, you know, not settling, but making sure things are balanced, like I said, emotionally, you know, physically, um, uh, spiritually, you know, just like I said, having that healing balance. All right, so let me get a clarifier, please. Ooh, okay. All right, yeah. So we have, again, the wheel, and then we have the five of swords. So Aries, um, you know, again, for your lesson 2020, you know, don't get stuck with those people. Don't settle for those people who are going to play mind games with you, who are going to use you as a stepping stone, you know, who are going to um, kind of mislead you. You know, definitely, like I said, this is a whole new year. You know, your lesson for this year is going to be, you know, getting away from that, like I said, restoring that balance. So, you know, we're still going to have those people, like I said, those, you know, kind of low vibrational people that, you know, we still have to deal with. I mean, like I said, balance in the world, you know, sometimes people are drawn to you because you are high vibing and, you know, you have some kind of healing or something, you know, and so they're attracted to you, you know, and others, I mean, there's just, you know, there's just, an, you know, not so nice people out in the world. So <clears throat> again, you know, it's just, it's making sure that your lesson for 2020 is you keep that balance, no matter what you're going through at the time, especially with that five of swords, you remain, you know, focused on you and you're keeping that balance and you are healing this year. Like I said, you need to get away from those, you know, types of relationships that just play mind games, those, you know, kind of jealousy, um, you know, argumentative, you know, kind of, like I said, those just low vibing kind of relationships, you know, connections. And again, you know, we have the wheel here talking, you know, luck is on your side, you know, talking about divine timing, talking about kind of moving you forward, you know, out of that stagnation, you know, um, so yeah, so that is going to be your lesson of 2020 is just knowing when to move forward, knowing when to move on from those types of, um, toxic relationships or negative relationships and knowing when to restore that balance, that healing balance. All right. So, chakra cart, please, for the lesson of 2020 for Aries. Yeah. So, Aries, you know, <laughs> 
2020, your main lesson too, is going to be personal boundaries. Card number 16, choice, assertiveness, empowerment, and authenticity. You know, this is remaining true to yourself, Aries. This is, you know, reaching down, finding that strength, you know, within you, you know, really empowering yourself and being assertive, setting those personal boundaries. Like I said, getting away from those mind games, getting away from that, you know, that jealousy, that argumentative, um, you know, relationship or connection, the one that's always trying to kind of hold you back or keep you down. You know, and it's like I said, moving you out of those relationships and restoring that healing balance. So, all right. So now what will your lesson be in love for 2020? Lesson in love for 2020. All right. So we have soulmate. So, you know, in 2020, you're going to be able to differentiate the difference. And I put that over here next to the Five of Swords. Because in 2020, with this being your lesson, you're going to be able to differentiate, you know, the the difference between a soulmate and a relationship that is toxic. You know, like I said, you're really going to know the difference this year. You're really going to know that you're not going to settle and like I said, you're going to be focused more on, you know, finding people that are on your vibe, finding people that are, you know, help you with that, um, that healing balance, not just someone who's going to take, 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 take. And like I said, try to keep you down, you know, so this year, like I said, you're going to, um, find your soulmate and you're going to also know the difference between an actual soulmate and, you know, someone who is, um, you know, just not so good for you. <clears throat> all right, and please excuse my voice. I am getting over a cold. So, all right, um, with the moonology, you have the answers you need are coming. So with this being here for your lesson of 2020, you know, it's like this whole year is just going to be, you know, it's going to take patience. You know, those all those answers that you will need will come in in divine timing here, you know, with this Wheel of Fortune. Like I said, just be assertive, set those personal boundaries, and, you know, you will learn to differentiate um, between a soulmate and between, you know, the toxic connections that are just kind of, you know, holding you down and keeping you back. All right. So let's go ahead and... <clears throat> So our next one is what will be your area of self-growth in 2020? So Aries, what is your area of growth in 2020? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Aries going along with the theme here. Um, you know, you're going to step into that queen of swords energy. You are going to, you know, know when to cut things out that aren't serving you. You're going to know when to, um, you know, just kind of, like I said, take that sword, cut those things out that are toxic, cut those things out that aren't serving you, cut those things out that no longer believe. So, and then another area of growth is going to be finances. You know, your financial matters here, you have the 10 of coins, you know, that is abundance, you know, that is talking about, um, you know, financial success. So this could be, you know, like I said, a new job. This is kind of realizing, you know, with your dreams and everything that you were kind of, we talked about in the beginning of the reading, you know, this could have a big deal to do with that. Um, but, you know, definitely area of self-growth is going to be, like I said, you not dealing with that toxic crap anymore that's holding you back. You not putting up with things that aren't serving you, that are, you know, just kind of toxic to you. And definitely your financial growth. So now let's take a chakra oracle for personal growth. 2020 for Aries. Okay, yeah. So again, we have card number nine talking about relationships. You know, this is talking about intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. Like I said, with the Queen of Swords here, you know, getting rid of those toxic relationships, knowing, you know, what the difference is between soulmates, someone who is here to help you grow, you know, to kind of reach those goals, you know, attain all those dreams that you have set for yourself. And, you know, the difference between that those people and then the difference between the people who are just, you know, kind of holding you back because they don't want to see you succeed. You know, they want you to stay low vibing like that. Them. 
All right. And then we have a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. All right. All right. So, you know, a personal issue um, reaches resolution, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, that's you stepping into that queen, queen of swords energy, really saying, you know what, I'm done. <clears throat> you know, if you're not here to help me grow, then I'm cutting you out of my life. All right. And then as far as relationship goes in 2020, um, you know, the big area of self-growth there is you're really going to take time to um, get to know, you know, people before you really kind of, um, you know, you're going to give people a chance but then, you know, because this is how you know, you know, if they're here to help you grow or if they're here to, um, you know, just kind of be, you know, toxic in your life. So, again, you know, you're really going to be meeting um, people, you know, you're going to be putting yourself out there. But you're really going to have those deep, you know, kind of meaningful um, conversations with people. Like I said, just kind of seeing where they stand, seeing where you stand, you know, seeing if this connection can grow. So, all right. So now let's go ahead and let's move on to our next area. All right, so the next area we have is relationships. <laughs> so relationships for Aries in 2020, please. Okay. Okay, again, we have the Queen of Swords that flew out. Okay. All right. So we have the Queen of Swords and we have the Sun card on the bottom of the deck. So I went ahead and took that. All right. So now relationships in 2020 for Aries. Okay. So we have Queen of Wands. So Aries, in 2020 for you, um, as far as relationships goes, like I said, it does look like you are going to be forming happier connections, you know, more meaningful connections. Like I said, you're not going to be settling, you know, with the Queen of Swords coming back again. That's saying to me, you are definitely going to be cutting out those people who are not going to help you grow, who are not going to help you on your path. You know, you're not, you're not dealing with it this year. Like I said, you're not going to settle this year. Queen of Wands, that shows me that your confidence is really going to be, you know, up um, you're going to be attracting a lot of people, you know, you're going to, um, <clears throat> like I said, just be very confident, you know, you're really, when you walk into that room and you start talking, people are going to notice you, people are going to, um, you know, really just kind of be drawn to you, you know, like I said, that very magnetic personality. All right, let's take a chakra oracle. Okay, so yes, in uh, 2020, as far as relationships goes, Aries, you have card number 24, love. That talks about kindness. Um, that talks about, you know, sharing. It talks about receiving. It talks about, you know, everything that a relationship should be. It talks about you working on your heart chakra. It talks about... Um, like I said, you know, as far as relationships goes, and this doesn't just have to be romantic relationships. This could be relationships with family members, you know, with friends, like I said, any type of connection. But, you know, I do see you, like I said, working on that heart chakra, knowing when to cut people out that, you know, are not here, that are not, you know, here in your best interest. And, you know, like I said, you're really going to be tra attracting a lot of people this year. And there's going to be a lot of good relationships. You know, you're really repairing that. You're really working on your happiness, you know, focused on that. So that's really good, Aries. All right, let's take a Moonology card, please. All right. Okay, so we have... Um, ex new moon eclipse, expect powerful change. All right, so 2020, you know, within your relationships, like I said, expect that powerful change. You know, expect you to be working on your heart chakra. Expect, you know, to be drawing in a lot of people. All right. 
Ooh, okay. So we might be having someone come back, you know, from your past, or this could just mean that, um, you know, you've met this person before in a past life. So we do have past life relationship coming out. You've known each other before. So again, this could be someone from, you know, your past, you know, within this life, or this could be someone, you know, from a past life situation that you're meeting again. And if that's the case, you know, this person is going to feel like home to you. This person is really going to, um, again, you know, really be drawn to you, especially with this queen of wands, you'll be kind of drawn to each other. It's that magnetic, that pulling towards each other, you know? So yeah, so definitely, like I said, some beautiful connections this year. All right. All right, so now let's look at career. And I won't be taking a romance angel for this one because it's for career, so. All right, let's talk about your job, your career in 2020 for Aries. Okay. You know, I am really bad at shuffling today. Are these cards are just screaming at me? All right, so we have the Ten of Sacred Circles. And then we have Princess of Sacred Circles. So guys, your career is going to be popping. You know, Ten of Sacred Circles, Ten of Pentacles. You know, again, this is coming out for you again. Um, you know, like I said, finances, they're looking really good. You know, the Princess of Sacred Circles, you know, that's someone who's very nurturing. This is someone who has that, um, you know, wants to lay that foundation, like I said, this is, you know, going to be some hard work, but I mean, it's definitely going to be a prosperous year for you guys. All right, let's take any other clarifiers, please, for the career. Okay. Oh, beautiful. All right, so we have the sun card come out. So as far as your career, you know, your job, your finances, you know, all that stuff, you know, sun card, ten of pentacles. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that, guys. That is, that's perfect. You know, that's, like I said, very prosperous year for you guys. All right. All right, so now let's look at health. <clears throat> All right, so let's look into your health. Aries 2020, please. Let's see if you guys can. I don't know if it's getting me shuffling on camera. All right, health 2020 for Aries, please. I don't know if you guys can tell, but these cards are like humongous. All right, so we definitely have, um, you know, the Eight of Cups here. I'm going to get some clarifiers for this. So health, please, in 2020. Health for 2020. Okay, so as far as your health goes in 2020, it really kind of looks like you're going to, um, you know, you've got some decisions to make, definitely. Um, you know, as far as like, um, uh, oh, well, okay, obviously in life we all have a bunch of decisions to make in various areas of our life. So that's no different for you, Aries. <clears throat> but as far as um, your health goes in 2020, you know, it really kind of looks like you're going to be um, evolving more as far as like walking away from bad habits, kind of maybe looking into, um, you know, exploring other options as far as maybe an exercise program, um, eating habits, you know, something like along those lines, but you're definitely going to be looking into those options, into those choices. Um, you know, you're really going to be putting forth the effort, you know, time and study into kind of seeing, you know, what else is out there, you know, what's going to work for you. All right, and then I took an oracle card, <clears throat> and we have card number 18, 
playfulness, lightheartedness, innocence, and wonder. So, you know, definitely um, with your health, you know, this is kind of saying, you know, we need to, you know, maybe you're trying to get healthier, you know, because you have children. Um, you know, maybe you're trying to get healthier because you're getting older. And, you know, we want to try to hang on to that youth as much as possible. Um, you know, and this is you just kind of, you know, finding playfulness, you know, and especially when you do get into a new uh, routine, new, you know, well, it's kind of you getting out of a routine, but into something else, something that's going to work better for you health wise. And this is you, you know, kind of moving towards that and really finding that, you know, this works, whatever you're moving towards definitely works. It's making you feel more energetic. It's making you feel more lightheartedness, you know, more playful. And definitely just overall, you know, that is um, a sacral, or not sacral, um, solar plexus. And so you may, you know, be trying to, like I said, find new eating habits. Um, you know, there may be some kind of new dietary restriction upon you this year that you have to kind of research or look into or find the alternatives. So, you know, again, <clears throat> solar plexus, but definitely, like I said, looking into your options, looking into other choices, looking into, you know, other um, programs, things like that. And, you know, really finding something that works for you. All right. Now, as far as spirituality in 2020 Aries. See what we have for spirituality. Spirituality in 2020 for Aries. All right. So, you know, it's like we are really kind of struggling this year to kind of connect with spirit. You know, we are... Um, it's like you're really in your headspace a lot. You know, you really have a lot of stresses, a lot of anxiety going on. <clears throat> but, you know, with this being the Nine of Swords, this is wrapping things up. You know, this is kind of getting ready to close out, you know, a cycle. You know, you just, you have one more, you know, which is the Ten of Swords, which is a painful ending. But, I mean, it's getting there. It's like spirit is really kind of testing you. Testing, okay. <laughs> and as I'm saying that, Nine of Wands comes out. Nine of Wands is trials and tribulations. So, you know, this is not going to be an easy year for you as far as spirituality goes. It's really going to be a year. And I'm not saying that's bad. Because this is just a year about you learning lessons. Learning things about yourself. Learning, you know, what's going to best suit you. Learning, you know, again, not to settle. So, let's see what um, chakra we have. For spirit. All right. So as far as, you know, that goes, um, you know, definitely communication, you know, um, try to clear up that mental, that anxiety, you know, that mental cloudiness, you know, that mental, um, where you're just stuck in your head, you know, and you can't, it's just, it's, you know, kind of tough for you. It's really rough. You know, try to get out of that state of mind. Like I said, you know, try to, you know, you're going to keep going. This isn't about you giving up at all, Aries. This is about you still moving forward. This is about you, you know, trials and tribulations, but you're still holding on to that wand. You're not giving up. You still have a war to fight. You still have this year to go, you know, and you're, like I said, you're not going to give up, you know, Aries, this is you really moving forward, you know, and, you know, you do find ways to connect, you know, with spirit, to connect with yourself, your higher self, you know, and it looks to be through sound, through that throat chakra. You know, so make sure you're voicing, you know, your opinions, make sure you are, like I said, setting up those healthy boundaries and, you know, music could be like a big thing for you. You know, um, I know I tend to really kind of go towards music a lot, especially, I mean, I'm a Pisces, you know, so any, <laughs> you know, with my emotions and everything. Yeah. I, I tend to gravitate towards music to kind of really help me through lots of situations. All right. So, Aries, last one. What is your overall energy for 2020? <clears throat> what is Aries' overall energy for 2020? Okay. Aries, we have Ace of Sacred Circles. So this is new beginnings. This is, like I said, laying down that foundation that you want to build on, that you want to grow on. So, yeah, beautiful energy. You know, this talks about um, uh, new opportunities. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. So we had the Hermit come out. And then we have the Moon card. 
so with the um, Ace of Sacred Circles here, you know, this is talking again, you know, new opportunities, new beginnings, you know, something you can really build on. And, you know, we're talking about hermit mode. So this is you kind of taking some time out, really kind of, like I said, evaluating things. You know, this is your overall energy. You know, this is really, um, and I don't want to say you're just looking out for yourself because, I mean, it goes beyond that. But you're really learning to take care of yourself this year, Aries. You know, it's like you're clearing up that confusion. You know, you're paying attention more to your dreams. You are, um, like I said, getting like a fresh set of eyes, a new perspective on things. You know, doing that soul searching and really finding out, um, finding those new beginnings. And then with Moonology here, we have communication is key. You know, new moon in Gemini. So, yeah, so definitely, you know your overall energy you're just you're learning how to communicate better you're learning to you know get rid of those things that like I said are just kind of holding you back those things that are no longer serving you and your life you know cutting those out cutting out toxic situations toxic people you know knowing when to do so knowing the difference between that and someone who's going to help you grow like I said getting rid of confusion you know really kind of um taking care of yourself like I said just doing a lot of soul searching this year all right, and then as far as chakra goes, yeah, beautiful. This is card number 47. It's support, love, signs, direction, and guidance. So Aries, <clears throat> you know, again, um, you know, this is you kind of connecting with spirit this year. This is you, you know, getting that support, you know, finding those love um, finding that love, you know, those connections, like I said, that are going to help you grow, you know, help you evolve, you know, to help you be successful. You know, getting that guidance that you need. So, yeah. So, what about the overall love in 2020? Overall love in 2020 for Aries. All right. So, Aries. We have a couple cards. We have playfulness. So, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to, um, to have fun and to shine. And then we have engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment this year. So, you know, definitely, um, like at the bottom of the deck, <laughs> um, says release your ex. So, like I said, you are going to be cutting out situations that, you know, are just aren't helping you, you know, that are just kind of holding you back. So with engagement, you know, some of you could be getting, you know, engaged this year. And some of you could just be taking that um, relationship to, you know, the next level of commitment. You know, whatever that means for you and for your situation. So, all right. So, Aries, that is your 2020. I do appreciate you taking some time being here with me, watching the video. I know it was kind of a long video. Um, you know, overall, guys, you know, great year, especially in career, you know, especially in relationship department. You know, keep it going. Keep it moving. You know, look out for you. And, you know, overall, just, you know, live your best life. You know, be thankful. And, yeah, so I will talk to you guys again soon. So have a great holiday and a great um, new year. I'll see you guys again for your January uh, 2020 monthly.